This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. theme song is time for this familiar program. It's called The Ramble, and I'm Alex Bennett, and I'm your host, and I will be until midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time. It's five minutes past 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time, so wherever you are in the world, if it's that time on the East Coast of the United States, uh, you're listening to this live. And while we're at it, let's check in with an old friend, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, on the line, the inimitable... Larry Bubbles Brown, yay! From the, from the post-apocalyptic West Coast, <laughs> yeah, we're no, in flames. Uh, yeah, here, here's the deal. You got some big fires out there. Oh my God! It's uh, yeah, it's like the end of the world. Uh, a gig uh, where we, you had a big show in '97, burned to the ground. What was it? San, the San, uh, what, what what theater was that? It was called the Wells Fargo. It used to be the Luther Burbank Center. Yes. Up in oh the wow. Center. Burned to the ground. Gone. Yeah, totally gone. Oh well, we brought down the house. <laughs> they couldn't follow us. Well, what what's weird is uh, I have a um, a guy who does a show here named Damian Chaplin. And he runs a storage unit in Santa Rosa. He also lives in Santa Rosa, but he has a storage unit he runs in um, uh, Santa Rosa. And I wrote him and I said, I hope you're okay. And he said, yeah, the fire came within 500 feet of the storage facility. Mm. And I went, wow, because I just moved all my stuff into that storage facility. <laughs> Wow. So, uh, but it's safe. So, you know, and so is he. I mean, that's the, my my major concern. Although being the selfish person I am, uh, not necessarily <laughs> mine. Save the tapes. <laughs> <laughs> Save the tapes. Save all those magic moments with Larry Bubbles Brown. Yeah, and there was a good, uh, the uh, they had to evacuate Kaiser up there. That almost went up, too. And the Hilton Hotel next to it got burned down. So it's uh, quite a... Uh, quite Those are some major, major things to burn. Yeah, you I know. didn't think uh, buildings like that could burn, but... Apparently they can, and they do. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the, that Burbank Center was uh, a lot of comics filmed their HBO specials. There. It was such a great room. Uh, I think Carlin did most of his there, and Dana Carvey filmed his there. So it was, a, it was a great room. I'm sorry to see it go. Wow. Too bad. Too bad. Well, well our philosophy was everything you like in life will be taken away from you. <laughs> our, is that our philosophy in life? <laughs> Well, I think we both agreed on that, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, that eventually it'll all just burn to the ground. Yeah. Wow. That's uh so uh, that's quite a fire. That's uh that's something else again. Yeah, it's not out yet, so they're still evacuating people. So. Wow. But uh, anyway, so um, uh, all my tapes came within 500 feet of the fire being Well, just... that's close, man. They would have been gone because it was uh it was just unbelievable. They, they had the winds of about 50 miles an hour, and it was just moving yeah. away like a bomb. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And my Gary, my business manager, lives in Marin, says Marin is smoky, and they can smell smoke and all of that. You know. It, oh, uh, two uh, nights, uh, Sunday night, I... Uh, I thought I thought is the apartment on fire. I could just smell the smoke, and then I turned the news on. And said, that's when I found out about the fire. It blew down here that quickly, wow. and it's still very smoky. Wow, wow, that's quite a fire. I mean, because uh, Santa Rosa is maybe what fifty miles away, seventy five. Fifty miles? miles, yeah, yeah. And the last one I remember, you were still here there. The ninety one, the Oakland Hills fire. Well, of course, I remember the Oakland Hills fire. Uh, that but, was a bad one. But that was that was secluded to the uh, Oakland Hills. You know, that yeah. wasn't like I mean, this seemed to have a wide area. This started in I well, I don't know where it started, but it went from Glen Ellen to Kenwood to Santa Rosa to Napa. 
is all over up there. Yeah, so a lot of a lot of stuff going on up there. I just, you know, as I say, I, you know, number one, I was worried about Damien because he had just recently moved to uh, uh, Santa Rosa to run this uh, the storage place. And I think his home, if I'm not mistaken, he lives on premises. So, I mean, you know, I I was worried about him. And uh, yeah. so I wrote him and he said, no, we're fine. He said, but it came within 500 feet of the storage facility. And then the selfish part of me, of course, took over you know, <laughs> and went, well, thank God for my stuff, you know, uh, all my tapes and, and so on. Uh, but uh, it's it's really you know it's really quite a quite a quite a deal. What are, what is it with all these? This seems to be the year that nature decided to fight back. Well, she's got to get rid of humanity, so maybe it's a good start. Yeah. Uh, and on top of that, last night there was also an earthquake in San Jose. So I all we need now is the plague of locusts. And uh, yeah, well, no, but I mean, you you've got how many hurricanes this year? The devastated areas, all right. And yes, we're going to include Puerto Rico, folks, or as our president calls it, Puerto Rico. Um, uh, you know, I mean, all these places. It's like nature has finally said, "I'm fed up. I've had it. You know, you're <laughs> you're all going. I'm sorry." Sure. There's also, a, I guess, a giant fire down in Southern California in Anaheim, too, right now. So. Yep, yep. State's getting it at both ends. Right. Well, yeah, it's kind of like uh, sex with a woman you really like. <laughs> uh, well, this is, uh, you know, I've always thought October was seemed to be the disaster month. We had the Oakland Hills fire, this fire, the earthquake in 89, so... Yeah, well, but what, I, what all I'm saying is, I mean, like we had the earthquake in, uh, when was that? That was 1980? 89, uh, coming up on the 28th anniversary this week. 28th anniversary? God, yeah. am I that old? And yeah, I remember your place was almost destroyed. You were like living in, <laughs> I, I <laughs> in was, a war zone. I was living, well, it, it's when I discovered something very important. Uh, and and I like to impart this to anybody whenever I can, and it's called the rubble fuck. <laughs> uh, I uh, I had a girlfriend at the time, uh, the one that continually broke my heart, and uh, we had broken up. And um, I, what was it? She came, on, yeah, she came over to hang out just to see me, right? But we were pretty much broken up, right? This was one of the 12, 11 or 12, if I counted them right, breakups that we had in our relationship. Those are always the great relationships. <laughs> well, I think we broke up because the makeup sex was so good. But anyway, so she was she came over to say hello, and she was hanging out, and I said, oh, let's go get a sandwich. Let's go down and get a, go to Mel's and go get a sandwich or something. So Mel's, you have to go up the hill, up to up uh, Divisadero, I think, and then down Divisadero. And is no, it, it was on uh, it was on Lombard. No, this was the Divisadero goes through the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, goes right through the uh, the marina. It does. Yeah, no. But, uh, so we had to drive up Divisadero, and then we're driving down Divisadero, and all of a sudden, uh, I. You know, I'm I'm putting on the brakes because I'm going down the hill, and I put on the brakes, and the car is still moving. Yeah, and and I can't figure out why it's still moving, but I've got the brakes on. Is there something wrong with my brakes? And it turns out there was nothing wrong with my brakes. My car was bouncing down the street, right mm -hmm. down the hill, and uh, then I we look straight ahead, and the wires because there's still overhead wires for the buses. Are, are shaking and then people are tumbling out into the street and when you're in your car you don't you don't have the sense of an earthquake you have a sense of something else being wrong but not not the shaking of the earthquake okay and people are piling out into the streets and all of a sudden I said we that's an this is an earthquake 
So immediately I do a U-turn, I go back up the hill and go down the hill, and we go down into the marina, and um, uh, my girlfriend says to me, look, the side of that building is kind of missing. And I said, well, look <laughs> over there. That one isn't even there anymore. Yeah. Uh, and we suddenly realized what had happened in the devastation. We pull up to my apartment house, and we have to get out of my side of the car because the curb was now a foot higher. Yeah. And uh, we went up to my apartment, and really all that happened, I lost a bookcase. And all the cont- and a lot of stuff was on the floor that had been shaken, and books had fallen out of the thing, and then the bookcase fell apart. And that was it. The, and then there were cracks in the wall. And when they finally, when they finally fixed the apartment, uh, you know, because they redid the whole apartment house, they redid the. I, in fact, that, that was when I got fired. I had been, I'd been fired from Live One Hundred Five, so now here comes the earthquake, and that's not going to be good for job looking. Uh, and uh, so finally, I get a job in uh, Miami. So we go down there for three months until I left there. And during that time, they completely redid the apartment house foundations. And they would have had to move me to a top floor because there was too much noise going on there. So I let somebody stay there, and I missed the the rebuilding of it completely. But when they came in to fix up the walls and everything in the apartment, I said, leave that crack there was a crack in the kind of like not in the actual wall. It was just in the you know the kind of the the paper, the canvas that covers the walls in San Francisco homes, in some of them. And so there was a crack. And I said, leave that. I said, I want to remember. Good memento. I want to remember the earthquake. Yeah. I said, just leave it. You know. And so they said, really? And I said, yeah. And so they took care of all the other cracks, and the one in the living room stayed there. And I was always very happy to have it there because it was a memory. But here's what I'm talking about, the rubble fuck. So, <laughs> rubble fuck. so my girlfriend and I come back, and, you know, we, we were separated, right? We're broken up, we, you know. And that night, we rutted like dogs. I mean, we just fucked our brains out. And there's smoke in the air and the sound of sirens and everything else. And we're going nuts, okay? And I often wondered about that. Why we had, why the best sex I ever had was in the middle of devastation. And I asked a psychologist or a psychiatrist about this once, and he said, it's because there is a primal instinct in the human being for the survival and the perpetuation of his species. Yeah. And that in, that in those incidences, people are known to have really heavy sex. And it has been reported some of the best sex they ever had. I said, boy, you know, I would have loved to have been in Dresden. Uh, <laughs> y- y- you know, and, and man. I, I mean, like a firebombing. <laughs> think about the 1906 earthquake. That would have been a good place to have sex, you know. So uh, I, I tell everybody, if you have a, some kind of a big tragedy hit your neighborhood, don't leave. Just invite your girlfriend over and have sex because <laughs> it's phenomenal. But uh, one thing I found out about myself, which was kind of interesting, we, uh, after the earthquake hit, I said, we got to get out of here because we don't know if it's going to hit some more. So I, we get in the car, and we start driving about a block, and I'm blocked down the street, and all of a sudden there's this one street that had a lot of devastation. One building was almost falling over. Another one had fallen over. Uh, and I, she said, let's get out of here. And I said, wait a minute. And I get out of the car to see if I can help, which is so unlike me. <laughs> You know, but I said, no, there are people, there might be people who need help, and I, I've got to help. And she's going, no, let's get, we were going to go to Marin over to Gary's, over to my business manager's place to get away from all of this. And she said, oh, no, don't do that. And I'm out there seeing if I can help, and I notice that I really can't help because there's just too much going on, and I've got to wait for the, you know, the, the fire department is already there uh, starting to help people. 
So I get back in the car and we drive and she says, get over the bridge. Now, this is the person who you would have thought would have been the calm one. And I would be the panicked one. Like, get, let's get the fuck out of Dodge. Instead, it was the other way around. She was, we went over, I said, we got to go over the bridge now. She says, suppose there's another earthquake when we go over yeah. the bridge. I said, well, it's only, a, it's only a mile and a half. I think the bridge is only a mile and a half, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. And I said, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go over there and, uh, you know, we'll get across the bridge. So we got across the bridge and she calmed down and we went to Gary's place. And then I said, we looked at the reports on television. I said, I think we can go back to the marina. So we drove back into the marina, got back into the apartment, and that's when we had our rubble fuck. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm telling you folks, rubble fucks, the best. You know, so, uh, have you ever had a situation like that? No, but I, I better well, go up to that fire zone and find a chick. Oh, listen, <laughs> somebody decides they're going to call me. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I want to see who this is. I don't want to answer it. I just want to... See, I always leave something around here. Oh, it's Shecky. Oh, I'll call Shecky later. Uh, I'll call him after we're through with this. My friend, you know Rick, right? I've never met him, but I want to. He's got the amazing baseball card collection. Oh, yes, 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 yes. See, immediately you would say, oh, well, he's the guy that's in show business. Maybe he can help me. No, you're going, he's the guy with the baseball card collection. <laughs> That's one of his minor collections. I mean, he has, an. Inc- I understand he's never shown it to me, an incredible baseball card collection. And actually, I've got I've to ask him to show it to me sometime. Well, couldn't he write a great book since he was like one of the longest uh, Letterman employees? He was there, he was, about, he was about number three or four, something like that, in length. You know? Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, he was there to the very end, and he got joined about a year into the NBC show um, as film coordinator, <laughs> which in yeah, that's a great job. <laughs> it was a title, but it, but he did more than just do that, you know. So that was that was the. Uh, 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 but anyway, it was Shecky calling. I always forget to get. To, I many times when I'm doing an interview, I take my. Uh, iPad and my uh, watch, my Apple watch, and I take my phone and I put them in the other room because they all go off at the same time uh, because they're all inner hooked to each other or something like that. So, you know, let that help. You're, well, you're Mr. High Tech. The Mr. High Tech, yeah, Mr. Mr. High Tech. And so anyway... Um, so that's why I'm saying rubble fucks are the best. So I don't know. Up in Santa Rosa, if uh, if the fire was like within 500 feet of you, Damien, uh, <laughs> you better uh, but, find someone. <laughs> but no, no. Uh, you have your you have your girlfriend. Uh, why don't you just you know because a rubble fuck is the best when the smoke is in the air and the sirens are are blaring, you know. And then I remember waking up the next morning. Do you remember the next morning after the earthquake? Uh, vaguely, yeah. The weather was was incredible. It was just incredible. Um, and I could never figure out why. Um, it, it, it just, it was, I woke up and I looked out the window and the skies were clear and the temperature was like about 72 or something like that. And people were walking down the street like it was a street fair looking at the damage. <laughs> Until finally the cops had to come along and get everybody out of the neighborhood saying, this is a dangerous place to be. You don't know when something's going to fall on you. Well, that's right. They had All those people drove into the city to look at the damage. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. what happened. And, and so then all of a sudden the streets were completely empty. But I remember it. And I was told that in 1906, after the 1906 earthquake, the next day was just beautiful, mm-hmm. you know, calm and serene. And yet you're in the middle of all this rubble. And, of course, the devastation that we had in the Loma Prieta, which was back in, what, 1989, uh, uh, the Loma Prieta earthquake was nothing in comparison to what happened 
in the 1906 earthquake because the whole city was, it wasn't really the earthquake that ruined the city. It was the fire. And the yeah. fire happened because the gas mains weren't protected in any way, you know. And so once the gas mains blew, the fires started and the whole town burned down. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, boy, that would have been great rubble fucking. God. God. <laughs> That's amazing. But no, but so we, we want to preserve our species, you know. Of course, you, in your case, you have such low self-esteem, you probably figure you'd be better off if your species didn't. Yeah, I, we just need to kind of end it. <laughs> end, the, end the strain. <laughs> oh, man. I remember that, that earthquake. It was the night of the World Series, and uh, it, was, <laughs> it took an earthquake to actually make baseball interesting. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Everybody, everybody I knew claimed they were at the baseball game when it happened. I think there were more people Everybody. who said they were at the baseball game that could actually, than could actually fit inside, uh, 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 what was the name of that park? Uh, uh, Candlestick. Candlestick Park. Uh, and did they finally tear that down, by the way? That's, that's now condos, yeah. It's now condos. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, everybody was at Candlestick, and they all tell the stories about how it was at Candlestick and whatever. It, it was a cross-bridge series. It was the Oakland A's versus the New York Giants. And SF so, Giants. SF Giants, excuse me. What did I call them? New York. Uh, New York, well, you know. They were once. <laughs> they were once. Now, actually, you know, the reason why the Giants went to San Francisco was because when the, uh, the Dodgers decided to go to L.A., uh, I think the Dodgers actually paid the the uh, New York Giants to move to San Francisco so that they would have some kind of other team on the West Coast because up to that point, uh, all baseball stopped at the Mississippi. Yeah. And, uh, and so there was some kind of payment made by either the Dodgers or by uh, baseball to get them to go to San Francisco. so that And they weren't a big team in New York. They were like the lesser of all the teams. There was the Dodgers, there was the Yankees, and then there was the Giants. And so they moved out to San Francisco. But anyway, uh, they it was a, a cross-bridge series in which the two teams from the city were going kind of back and forth, right? And mm -hmm. I think two days at... at uh, at the Candlestick and two days in uh, at the Oakland Coliseum and then back, uh, or is it the Coliseum or what was it called? Oakland A's ballpark, yeah. whatever. Yeah, the Oakland Coliseum, was, that's yeah. what it was then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, we were very lucky that that day was played at Candlestick because what happened was the entire freeway collapsed over there. The Cypress Freeway, the Cypress which is a freeway, double decker. Which, if there was a game to be there that day, would have, been, would have been packed. On it, yeah. Instead, it was somewhat sparse because there was a game out in San Francisco that everybody was going to. Right, right. So that saved a lot of lives. I mean, the, the death count would have gone sky high if it had been a game out at the Oakland Coliseum. So, just a little history. Just a little history. I can't believe it's 28 years ago. God. 28 years. What, what day was it? Do you remember? Now, see, October, October 17th. October 17th. So, wait a minute. We're coming up on it. We're coming up on it, yes. 28 years. Wow. You know, it'll, be, it'll be a Tuesday, which it yeah. was. A, you know, the, the calendar is always the same every 28 years. So, that's all. Now, I wasn't thinking about the devastation that other people were facing. I simply came up with the same conclusion I came up with with the fire. You know, how does this affect me? <laughs> uh, and I, uh, 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 you know, all I could think of was I was out of work looking for a job, and there's no way I was going to find a job in the middle of all of this. I mean, nobody was going to hire anybody for anything for months and months. And so I got this job offer a couple of months later in uh, uh, in uh, in uh, Miami. And I went down there, I think it was something like January 13th or something like that. 
And then I went down there, and it was just terrible. I hated working in that town. It's just the worst town in the world. I mean, sounded like a nightmare. You know, why? Why what happened to Puerto Rico couldn't have happened to Miami? <laughs> you know, just not my luck, right? Well, anyway, Lawrence, you know, it's a coming. It's a coming to an end here. Uh, but I know I, I got to go out and find me a rubble fuck. You got to find. You get well. Head up to Santa Rosa. You know, and then uh, say to somebody, uh, hey, want a rubble fuck? And they'll say, who are you, Harvey Weinstein? Anyway, (laughs) talk to you next week, Larry. Sounds good, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Bubbles Brown. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And hello and welcome back. Uh, I'm Alex Bennett. Thank you very much to Larry Bubbles Brown, who puts up with us once every uh, every couple of every week uh, to talk with us. And I enjoyed talking with Bubs because we just have great conversations, you know. And there's nothing like a great conversation, and that's what this program is all about. And that's why I am now turning on the uh, Skype lines. So that people can talk to me, because we have a thing called the Citizen Panel. In case you've never joined us before, what the Citizen Panel is is not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six. Not It can be upward. Well, actually, we like about nine other people besides me, so making it ten people. But we've had it upwards to 13 people at a time. But that gets a bit unwieldy, so I usually call it off at about nine. And that's what we call a full house. Sometimes we'll go to ten people plus myself and we call that a royal flush so anyway uh we'll see what happens and all you do in order to uh, call us is best way to do is go to gabnet.net and over on the right hand side of the page tells you everything you need to know about calling this program and being part of the citizen panel it even has a button you can push if your skype is already turned on that will dial our number and get a hold of us and our Skype uh, address is GabNet Live. You just say uh, GabNet Live, and you get to us. Uh, you probably should go up to where it says uh, Add Contacts, uh, or uh, where is it? Contacts, and then go Add Contact, and go um, uh, GabNet Live, and it'll tell me that you want to be made a, uh, a, a Skype friend, as it were. And then I will uh, contact, and I will immediately uh, accept that. And then you can just call right in without any problem at all. But I, th- I think I've got it set so you can call anyway, even if you go to GabNet Live. Uh, also, we have a phone number, and that number is also on that GabNet site, GabNet.net. Let me go look at it because I can never remember it. Uh, it's uh, 347-352-0079, 347 Zero zero seven nine. Okay. All right. All right. Anyway, so now I'm waiting for people to call, and that uh, that takes a while. I think there's a baseball game on tonight, so we won't hear from Rob Alfano unless the baseball game is already over. Uh, but since I don't know that much about sports, in spite of having a sports Emmy, which a lot of people would like me to give back. Uh, I I don't know whether there's a, a game or not tonight. So I, I know there's a I think there's a game tonight. There is a game tonight, and uh, it, it, Rob is like a big Yankees fan, so he listens to every Yankees game. As does my friend Rick Sheckman. Uh, uh, Shecky, I, what did he tell me? He was in he was in um, uh, Italy uh, at Porta Noni. Uh, I know I don't I never heard of it before in my life until he started going there. It's near Venice, and they hold a film festival there every year. And he went to Porta Noni, and he said while he was there, uh, he would use the Wi-Fi in the hotel to listen to the games, so that he could see how his beloved Yankees were doing. But anyway, the lines are open, and I'm just simply waiting for somebody to call here. And um, usually that doesn't happen. And actually, I'm, I'm thinking of uh, doing something about that first half hour because what happens is is that people just don't call. Uh, here, here, here comes Phil. Now, Phil, why do you wait until like 
35 minutes after the hour to call. Why don't you call as soon as I'm through, you know, with the it's, deal? Uh, well, what happened is as soon as you said the Skype lines are open, yeah. I had to pee. You had to <laughs> pee. <laughs> well, it was like it, it's it's automatic. Well, according to you, you always have to pee anyway. You said the Skype lines are open. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah. Wait a minute. Kevin, turn, he, yeah. he, <laughs> turn it off, Kevin, the audio. Yeah, there we go. Uh, what were yeah. you saying? You have to pee a lot anyway, right? Yeah. So uh, I, I, you know, as soon as you said they were open, I said, uh, "Oh, better pee." <laughs> I don't know why you don't use like uh, like uh, uh, Cialis uh, Daily Cialis I, to to make it so you don't have to pee as much. Because I remember I, when I had that problem, and you feel that little tingling in your penis, and then you have to run off and pee somewhere. Right. And this is old man stuff, folks. So you, can, it, you know, go listen. Go listen elsewhere if you're not. If you don't give a shit. Get it out the cock. But but you know, I once once they gave me the proper medicine. You know, I, you know, I mean, I, I admit that I I still have that psychological thing before I leave the house that I better pee. But if I don't pee, I'll I'm able to hold it till I find a bathroom. I, I'm taking the five milligram Cialis. The, what I'm not taking that you are is the finasteride. Yeah. Well, finasteride will shrink it. Yeah, but it also yeah. gives you tits. No. Do I have tits? Now? Look at me. And plus, so what if you have tits? You know? Get yourself abroad, then. Yeah. I mean, if, if you have your own tits, uh, why do you need to go out and find them? You know? Why... <laughs> why why have to pay for all those dinners and abuse and and make and and really lower your self esteem by almost begging and pleading that you can touch them? Well, yeah. you know the funny thing is, uh, I I was getting I didn't feel good on finasteride. Yeah. Uh, uh, th th there must be some side effects. I forget what they are now. Yeah. But uh, if I took the golden cocktail, which is the finasteride and the Cialis together, yeah, I would be in. Uh, in a position where I wouldn't have to pee as much, but just the Cialis makes a difference. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, I don't know. We're having hey. some kind of problem again tonight with this uh, damn. Uh, 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 you were out of sync on Facebook a little bit. I was out of sync on Facebook, and uh, there's a there seems to be a problem tonight with uh, um, with uh, uh, yeah, it freeze, freezes up. Mm. You no, know, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't go. It just starts and then it stops. Oh well. Uh, hey, uh, I give up on Facebook Live. I really am. <coughs> let me let me go over here and see how this machine is working. Hey, oh, Phil, did you last uh, you know your way today? You know something? Yes. It's my you know, machine. Wait a minute. Lots down here. Hold on a second. Yeah, because I talked to a couple of guys down in. Uh, wait, Alex wanted to wait, say something. I, it's it's not my machine. It's my machine. That's having the problem because I I started it over at a girlfriend's computer over here at the beginning of the show and it's mm. it's running just fine, you know. Well, uh, there's no delay on Skype, but, uh, yeah, but when I was but, watching but, on Facebook, it was a little yeah, out of sync. But, but you're uh, you're watching on Facebook now. Do you have it up so you can watch no, I, it? Why don't you do it so you yeah. watch it and just see if make sure it doesn't freeze on you? Uh, all right. Well, it doesn't seem to be it's freezing at all now. What? Looks like it's going fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, just keep it up and tell me if it freezes. But I, uh, I don't think it's freezing at all. Oh well. Anyway, uh, it's. I think it's this machine. This 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 uh, uh, Chrome, uh, uh, Google Chrome that I'm using. So, are you guys using Google Chrome or what are you guys using? No, Firefox. Firefox. Uh, yeah, I use Chrome. You use uh, Chrome? I use Safari on these machines. Yeah. Okay. So you're using Safari, and what are you using, Kevin? Safari. Safari. So, you know, so far, Safari's so good. Uh, Safari's good. So maybe I would suggest to people that they use Safari rather than uh, Google Chrome. Well, yeah, it froze map. up here again, but it didn't. Uh, it Actually, didn't. Uh, you know, you can use Safari I, uh, on a PC as well. Huh? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, you can download Safari on any machine. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I have no idea why this, uh, why this has a tendency to just uh, not... Uh, not be working that well, uh, so I don't know. I I I, I give up. Uh, let me see here. Uh, anyway, uh, I was talking to a couple of guys, Bill, down in Monterey area. Mm -hmm. it says it's starting to the breeze is starting to come up. The clouds from the uh, coast is starting to come up a little bit. 
But uh, he says a lot of places like uh, Loma Parada Mountain, because you can't even see it now. It's just it's all covered in smoke. It's uh, it, yeah. smoke is really a- acrid and thick. Uh, we're uh, we're approaching the unhealthy air down here, yeah. which is uh, just you know thirty miles from Monterey. They closed the schools in Western Contra Costa County uh, due to the air quality, and uh, uh, you know, uh, th- listening to the news reports. Uh, things are not very good up in the uh, in the wine country. No, and they're no. Gonna, they're going to be getting uh, winds tonight, north Big to wind. south. Big right, t- the winds have changed, and they yeah. may come back. Uh, yeah, you know, if they come back, what's left to burn? Oh, this yeah, it's crazy. I mean, and some of the paths that the, the, the fire's been going through is like literally a big blowtorch. It yeah. blows through one canyon and takes out this swath of houses, and then a block away, there's nothing. Well, Damien's the Damien's, it, 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 Damien's Damien's storage facility, which well, that's was what's left to burn, which was surrounded by fire, right. uh, is it is safe. Okay, yeah. and will probably remain that way because there's nothing to burn to come up to it now. Right. You know, I mean, it's anything nice. that's burned, if you have a house, and I saw some pictures today, and it was the same way with the earthquake in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it, nature seems to just pick and choose because I saw a street where there was <laughs> all these homes were burned on one side of the street, and on the other side of the street were several homes burned, and then there were a couple in the middle that weren't even touched. Well, I'll tell you, in Oakland, huh? uh, in the firestorm, yeah, in, uh, too. Yeah. With the earthquake, I'll tell you that uh, it was really strange because I work I work in a warehouse, and we had a hundred thousand square foot warehouse, and we stacked stuff thirty feet into the air, and Acer computers were slapping back and forth like toys, and there was a global warehouse ac- across from us about the same size, and they lost almost everything in their warehouse. It was the motion of the earthquake was more east to west than it was north to south. Our racks weren't even tied to the ground, and they walked around. Their racks were anchored to the cement, and they all collapsed. I lost a copy machine in 89. It it fell on the ground. Uh, I had uh, one of those uh, uh, copy machines that had the continuous roll of thermal paper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) I I actually actually lost a... uh, uh, a uh, what do you call it? A, a, a library case. It, yeah. it it fell apart. Okay, but it was one of those kinds you put together anyway. You know, but it fell apart and all the books wound up on the floor. But that was the extent of my damage. Meanwhile, the apartment house next door to me was de- it wasn't demolished, but it was pretty well gone. And uh, you yeah. know, it, it's like, and I guess it's the same way with fires. I mean, it was like. You had your hand, and uh, where the fingertips were, uh, you were safe. And where you where you go down here, it was they were things were totally destroyed. So you could have one house that was fine and one that was totally destroyed. Was the library case that you lost the one I got for you? It was a uh, walnut. It had a built-in desk where you, oh, no, you had no, a, no, a no, thing no, no, drop down. No, 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 no. It was just a you know just like not like these, but you know like. You know, yeah. The I got is scary. You, go, you go out and you buy, you buy four or five of them at a time and put them oh, assemble. No, this and a nice. But the first one, nice the one. first one takes you about five hours to assemble, and the second yeah. one you do in fifteen minutes because you yeah. finally <laughs> learn how to do it. Yeah, uh, that I well, I, I put it together for you in Sausalito. Uh, mm-hmm. It was a, a, a walnut thing. It was like a wall system, except it free stood. So it was freestanding, and it had a uh, a desk in it where the uh, thing dropped down, and it was like a a, a little secretary built I, into it. I don't it. even remember that. It was, I, we These put it right next to your dining room table. Really, it's, I don't. Well, I don't remember it. You know, huh? but. Oh. Friend of mine, I can always remember in '89 during the earthquake. Um, he just came off the Bay Bridge. He looked back, saw the Bay Bridge up in the air, that one piece up in the air. Oh, the Oakland Bridge. The Oakland Bridge. He says, "No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, right, it wasn't up in the air. It was. It, was the, it, it actually it fell down, down at an angle. Down, downwards angle." He says, the first words came out of his mouth was, "Oh my God, I don't believe this shit." No, I was. Uh... He says, he, he says, uh, he says, are you all right? He says, I'm all right. Somebody got I, killed I, there. 
because yeah, yeah because couple, couple because they did. well because they didn't see that thing coming. They were driving and they didn't see that it was missing. You couldn't see it as you were driving along. I had a customer that was in on uh, Highway 17, or what they call 880, and he got uh, killed uh, when the uh, uh, freeway collapsed. I was oh. on it. Oh, really? Yeah, I was coming I out of got... the stadium club. At, at well, wait the, a minute. Uh, Kevin, Kevin says he was on it. Listen, listen yeah. to him. Oh. He's more interesting than what you're saying. Huh. I was at the ball game. <laughs> yeah, but you well, were at my brother. So was, was, so was first... everybody else, including people who weren't. Anyway, well, Kevin, there. Kevin, tell I was at the first two ball games because I had season tickets at that time and we watched the first two ball games and then the third uh, that Wednesday or whatever the hell it was I was driving a truck at the time still and I just made a delivery in San Leandro mm -hmm. and I said you know what I'm going to go the long way home because my terminal was in San Jose I was going to go the long way home and so I decided to go by the stadium to see what was going on in San Francisco which means go up Cyprus Yes, which collapsed. Uh, Cyprus, and then I went across the bridge, and I was in a, in a cab over truck, which is them real high ones. Yeah. And I was in the right lane, and just as you made that curve before the island there, yeah. coming back towards San Francisco, I looked over the edge and went, boy, I sure wouldn't want to be here in a fucking earthquake. <laughs> and it was really strange, because what you were saying with Bubs a little while ago was yeah. traffic was nowhere, nothing. I mean, everybody was going to the game or going to watch the game because it was a Bay Bridge series. Right. It took me less than, you know, about a half hour to get back to San Jose. Yeah. As soon as I got out of the truck, it hit. Wow. And I walked across the yard, and I saw the ground raise up like waves because it was a freshly paved yard. Uh, and it was the freakiest thing I ever said. But, boy, did I pucker up when I thought half hour ago I was on the Cypress and I was on the... The Bay Bridge, both of them crashed. Well, I was walking out the one door. part of the Bay Bridge collapsed, it, and it was and it was it, it was it odd, through. Odd, yeah. oddly it enough, was it was it, it was on, on the cantilever. It was on the, it, the, the. They didn't really consider that the Bay Bridge. That was well, the. It's now the Willie Brown uh, uh, portion of the Bay Bridge. Yeah, but. <laughs> Did they it name is. it after Willie it was Brown? Right before, it was right before the really. Curve. They couldn't wait. They they couldn't name it after somebody who was dead. They had hey, to I, name it. I sent you. Well, he, he probably is now. I, I sent you. No, he's not. But uh, I sent you a picture that I took when I was getting on the Sterling Street exit. That's where the sign is. Uh, Willie Willie Brown Bridge. I, I sent it to you. I think you might. Do you know that the they have a thing, ladies and gentlemen? I have to explain these things because some people are scratching their heads and you know. Because all the people who are talking now are from Cal are in California. So when are you, some of you other people start calling, please, and fill up this screen for me. <laughs> uh, 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 so let me explain uh, something, that these are various bridges that uh, span the Bay Area. There's the Golden Gate. There's the Bay Bridge with its cantilever. Uh, and then uh, there is another bridge, which... Is called the it's usually called the Richmond San Rafael Bridge because it goes from Richmond to San Rafael or San Rafael to Richmond depending on which direction you're going. But it does have a name. Yeah, what's that? I can't remember. It's some well, guy. It was some some legislator, and really? but it's only named for him in one direction. Really? Oh, you know what? You're right. Yeah. Now I think about it. I what the hell was his name? I always, I always called it. My parents called it the Richmond, R Richmond Bridge. Yeah, that's what it was. Richmond. Yeah. Oh. I'll tell you, yeah, I, I go back. Like I go back so far. I remember when there wasn't a bridge there, and you took a ferry to get right. across from San Rafael to Richmond. And it was always nice. I liked it as a kid. You know, my parents would go see some friends who live out in Contra Costa. We'd take the Richmond San Rafael uh, ferry. And so, so what did you do? You, you hooked up with a gay guy. What do you mean hooked up with a gay guy? You took a ferry? I took a ferry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the one that goes to San Francisco, <laughs> right? Yeah. That's a, uh, San Quentin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, um, they're not called ferries anymore, Phil. They're called ferry Americans. So come on, oh. stop it. <laughs> all uh, these hyphenated words. No, but no, but all I'm saying is, is that uh, it used to be a ferry there. I remember one night it was so stormy that I think I was going to throw up. I was really, it was really terrible. But yeah. uh, they finally built a bridge there, and it really, it's, it's got a name on it, and somebody can look it up, uh, yeah. you know. Um, but it, it, I like it, Red Rock Island. 
over there. Huh? Uh, yep, that yeah, Red Red Rock Island. It's had yeah. sold, uh, and over the last thirty or yeah. some odd years, I've lived in the Bay Area. It sold a number of times, and I remember when I first moved here, it sold for seven hundred thousand dollars, and now I think they're asking something like seven or eight million for it. Yeah, isn't there a B and B or something out there? No, there's nothing there. That's the brothers that you're thinking oh, okay. of. This okay. is Red oh, Rock. Oh, here, is, here comes our old friend. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Here comes Patrick. Uh, hey! Ho, ho, hold on, there we go. Hello, Patrick. Hello, Patrick. Hola. Hola. Yeah, there he is. But uh, uh, hold on a second. Uh, Richmond San Rafael Bridge. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it's got it's uh, Wikipedia, and it's got to have a name. Yes, here it is. Officially named after the state senator John F. McCarthy. But if I remember correctly, it only says the John F. McCarthy Bridge going in one direction. It doesn't mm -hmm. say it in both directions. So, you know. But I see Tommy Amaguchi is coming online. Maybe he'll call us and he'll give us a bigger history of the bridge. How you doing, Patrick? Well, I am uh, getting ready to get my flu shot tomorrow morning. And life is good. I already got my flu shot. Oh well, I'm I've, I've got to get one. You, you. I get mine tomorrow. Yeah. No, but well, I'm... just to finish the uh, the Loma Prieta story, yeah. I was coming out of the stadium pub, and then all of a sudden I saw the light stanchion start in the swing, and I said, "Oh, okay, earthquake. Good luck. We're you know going to rock those A's." And I get down to my seat, and there's this guy with this little two-inch television. I'd never seen one before. It was like a portable radio, but it was a, it had a television tube in it. And uh, he's and, and I'm looking, and across I could see from Candlestick Park uh, smoke coming from the uh, Cypress Expressway. Yeah. And, uh, and then the guy says with the little TV, he says the Bay Bridge fell. I said, "No, nah, are you kidding me?" You know, uh, and so. From uh, a little after five five thirty, when they finally said they were going to call the game, uh, it took me. I was with a friend. He drove because I was almost out of gas. I left my car in the marina on Franklin, and by the time I got back, Franklin and uh, Lombard. By the time I got back yeah. and got over to Marin to get gas, where they had electricity, and then over to uh, uh, Moraga. Where Hurry I was up with the story. The it's getting a little boring. Yeah, two in the morning. Really? Uh, yeah. Well, here, here's what happened. Uh, the, the, because the Bay Bridge went, at least the, uh, the upper half of the Bay Bridge went. Well, actually, it was both halves because yeah. the, the, the thing the fell bottom. to the bottom. So that bridge wasn't in, in working order for at least a month or two, maybe. So that if you lived in, uh, uh, in the East Bay and you wanted to come to work in San Francisco... You had to go San across Rafael. the San Francisco Bay, uh, the, uh, the uh, San Rafael Richmond Bridge, or the John F. McCarthy Bridge, or San Mateo, or, and San then Mateo you had to Bridge. come around, uh, well, the, uh, or the San Mateo, and then come across the Golden Gate Bridge. Now well, that uh, 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 traffic jams involved with that were just enormous for months. I mean, it was a living hell for some people. I bought a motorcycle, and uh, a two hundred dollar deal. <laughs> you know, it was a real piece of shit, a Suzuki 650. But uh, I'm driving. I was doing a job in uh, San Mateo, and Here I comes drive another over. boring story, folks. Just hold yeah. on, we'll live through. I drive it. over the San Mateo Bridge, and what's happening is the traffic was so heavy. People would, and they didn't like if you were cutting lanes, so they would open their doors. They yeah. would. They would move over to the side. Uh, after one or two rides on this thing, I said, you know what? I'd rather sit in traffic. <laughs> You're going to die. You're going to yeah. die. Yeah. So, and uh, that was the end of that. Sold it at a garage sale. <laughs> really? But, uh, People were assholes. Yes, certainly were. You know, they figured if you were getting somewhere, they, they weren't going to let you. I, people would actually yep. open their door. Really? They would yeah. open their door. Hmm. Yeah. Or at least stick their arm out at you and flip you off or whatever, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've been happy with that. I had a full fairing that was taking their arm off. Well, you <laughs> yeah. know, I, uh, uh, you know I, uh, we can sit here and tell our own stories about the physical yeah. tragedies that we've been in. Because if you live in California, you've got fi forest fires, which are very common. They're not uncommon. They're fires, wildfires. Uh, and then you've got, besides the wildfires, you then also have the uh, uh, 
uh, the earthquakes. And uh, is there anything else I've left out here? That's enough, isn't it? You got liberals. Huh? Floods. You got the liberals. Yeah, got liberals. Yeah. <laughs> you got floods. Yeah. Yeah. You got Har- Harvey Weinstein. You know. Uh, yeah. you, you got Monsanto. And, uh, you know, you got locusts. Yeah. But all I'm saying is is that, 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 you know, people are hit by these tragedies all the time. And why we have a tendency to live in areas where these things happen, you know. I mean, I would, you know, I probably would not live in an area where I knew there were going to be forest fires. Or, and, you know, but then again, I lived on a fault line, yeah. you know. It, you're picking your poison, really, because you got people in Tornado Alley. You got people that deal with snow every year. You got everybody's got their own. Yeah, there's always. Yeah, but I never figured out about Tornado Alley. And uh, what, what's your what's your uh, uh, Patrick? Now that we have somebody who's from California, what is your tragedy du jour for your area? Um, we get tornadoes and and then the blizzard. No, a lot of snow there. Huh? Yeah, so you get tornadoes and blizzards. Now, with the tornadoes, what I could never figure out is why people who live in Tornado Alley have trailers. Yeah. You know, They're sacrificial. I mean, I, mean some, I think it was Will Durst who once referred to it as God's bowling alley. <laughs> you, you know how the miners had canaries? If the canary died, they knew that they shouldn't go in the mine. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing. If the If the trailer park gets blown away... Uh, just stay out of that area. God, I mean, I, you know, I mean, I just wouldn't want to have anything where the only thing anchoring my home to the ground is a garden hose. You well, know, it's the same thing with uh, hurricanes down in Florida. They got a lot of trailers down there, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I mean, you, but uh, all, all I can say though is in New York, I can't think of any major kind of uh, tragedies. I mean, we did have hurric- one hurricane a while back, huh? You had an earthquake. No, uh, in no, New York. no, no, not not. We have yeah. a fault. It goes right through uh, Central Park, yeah. and every now and then it will rumble a little, but nobody feels it. Didn't you get like a five point something a couple of years ago? I don't think and so. That was down by Washington, though. We're in the Washington. Yeah, that was where the Washington mine. That was down in Washington. But New York City, I can't. You know, the only tragedy that can happen here. Uh, Garbage strike. Huh. The garbage strike. Uh, well, either yeah. that or there, there's no pastrami left. You know that <laughs> crane fall down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, there's uh, blackouts. Um, I, I, you know, you've got um, a nuclear plant right in your backyard in, in Montrose. Yeah, but no, but you're saying all these things can happen, but they haven't happened. Yeah. Yeah. You know, for all we talk about nuclear plants going nuclear. Uh, yeah. But the only thing that we came close was Three Mile Island, and we prevented a disaster there. I guess the only thing you got is ISIS and and people flying in airplanes well, into no, buildings. We, and, we we have that. Yeah, we have that. We, yeah. we well, you guys get that. heavy snow too. Yeah. Yeah. By the so. way, let me let me just tell you a little story before we go on. Since um, uh, you got Blasio, huh? Yeah, we got the Blasio. Blas- um, <laughs> I have. Um, um, uh, I, 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 in my watch, did I tell you about my watch, about my Apple yeah, watch? Off. The, yeah. the sting fell off, the, the, right? the, the, the face came yeah. loose off of it. So I took it down the other day, and I said, you know, I made an appointment with the genius bar to talk to a genius. <laughs> Boy, is that pretentious. Anyway, uh, and, and uh, he took one look at it, and he said, oh, the, you, you have, your problem is a swollen battery. The battery somehow on the early ones had a tendency to swell and when they swelled because there's so little room in here for everything it pushes the face out he says so we have to send it we have to send it out all right so i i said how long will it take three to five days Uh, okay fine Uh, you know uh you know this is a pain in the ass but go ahead do it and uh and they said well you can always send it to your home and i said yeah good luck with ups anyway (laughs) Um, so, uh, I, I told him I'd pick it up there today. I, I left it Monday, Tuesday passed today. I get a note. It says your watch is ready to be picked up. So I go down to pick it up and the woman says, I'll be right back. And she comes back. She's got a box box. This is Apple watch on it. And I said, okay. 
So she, I said, is this mine? And she said, oh, no, no, yours they're not even fixing. No one. This is a, I said, oh, then this is a refurb, because that's usually what they do. They give you a, a refurbished phone. No, it's brand new. Really? Is it the same model? Oh, it's or the, the same up, model. Up the it's the same model. You know, I mean, uh, the same year and whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but it uh, came in a box with a, with a little tape face on it that you had to peel. To, yeah. You know, and I had to reset it up and everything. But uh, I now have a... I, I, I was going to buy one of the new Apple Watches that work off, uh, off, the, off the phone system, uh, you mm -hmm. know, the cell system. But I'm figuring, what the hell? I got a brand new uh, Apple Watch here. This is at least good for a couple of more years before the battery uh, goes out or something. Let me make a suggestion. You put the tape back on the face. Yeah. You put it back in the box. And you say, Marjorie, I got your watch. And, <laughs> and then you go get the new one. No, I'd, I'd, I'd give her this. But she wouldn't wear this because this isn't stylish enough for her. Oh, you know. paint, paint it. I mean, and let's face it, the Apple Watch is not... It, it's it's not a bad looking watch, but it's not stylish in the sense that a woman would want it to be stylish. Yeah, I'm gonna. I got one for Faye. It's the older an older one, and uh, she doesn't use it. So I said, well, maybe I'll try it, and uh, uh, see if I like I, it. I love it because I look at it, and I can tell what the temperature is, you know, and I get all my uh, email and things like that. You know, it's pretty. It's pretty. I think it's pretty cool, actually. I got her the smaller one, and the band's too small. I can't. Uh, it's not comfortable. What I it. can't live without now is my is my Echo. My Amazon yeah. Echo. That is the best product. To they beat they beat the Apple to the punch on that one. Well, you know? I'm thinking that it might be a good thing for a nightstand. So you have music, you got an alarm clock, you got all of those things, and it's well. They have know, a little new one alarm. coming out with a screen in it that you can actually see the time, you can see the temperature, uh, you can also you can also call somebody on it. You know who, well, who, who has a, another one of these with a you know, with a, the same deal. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I, I, but I, I've got to hand it to to Apple. I mean, they gave me a brand new Apple Watch. So, huh. and this hey, thing's about a year and a half old. Mike, something. Hmm? Uh, uh, Mike, I see that you have a CRT in the in the uh, behind you. Would you explain like to people what that means? I mean, I, oh. I, 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 I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to have to send out like a dictionary of all the terms <laughs> that you use that nobody else knows what it means. Oh, it's especially a, yeah, C, especially CRT because oh. that is that. How long has it been uh, that we haven't? Had, oh, you know what I did? I watched. It's I went. Too, I it? went to saw Blade Runner, which, by the way, is a terrible yeah. film, just terrible. Yeah. Uh, it it makes no sense at all. It's full of anachronisms, and the worst anachronism is this is in the future, right? This is twenty. It's amazing how much our technology went forward in thirty years from today. Okay, mm -hmm. it's it takes place in like twenty forty nine or something, but yet. All the screens in the movie are CRTs. Yeah. You know, is that supposed to be like a retro oh, fun look it, it, or something? I, well, uh, you know, a CRT is a screen that has a, like a vacuum it tube. It stands for cathode ray tube. Right, okay. It's, remember, folks, the old TV sets? Remember the things where you had a 27-inch screen and it took yeah. five guys to pick it up and move it across the room? That's a yeah. CRT. Well, he, he, he's got one behind him. I don't know if he uses it or not. Uh, the mic is, uh, is already vanished, but uh, he, uh, this thing, you know, the computers even work with those anymore? I, I don't with even the think CRTs? you can get it. Do you because know, you, it has a different uh, jack to, uh, to, to hook them into the new CPUs. No, are you going to explain that to people, too? Uh, central processing unit or something? Yes, yeah, I think so. I think you got that right. Uh, he yeah. was asking you about your tube television set. You no, seen tube uh, computer monitor. Mike? Is that tube? Uh, it, it, it's uh, that, it's, it's, the, it's, it's, that big thing behind you? No, I saw it state. It's an old model. Yeah, but the, but the, the front is glass, right? Yeah. Okay, that's a tube. No, is it a flat screen? No. No. No, then it's a tube. Yeah. And uh, I think they were in use, what, in a, uh, 94 to 96, something like that? 
Yeah, I think so. This is my brother's old computer. He left it here when he got married. He goes, here, you can have it. He used it, and I said, the hell with this? It is a piece of crap. <laughs> well, I was wondering how you could use it. Yeah, well, yeah, well I, you know, also those CRT tubes, those old tube sets, folks, if you want to get rid of them, it costs you money. Yeah. Because the, the uh, uh, local junk people will charge you to dispose of it because it has mercury in it. When I was eight years old, nine years old, I found a uh, a television tube just sitting. You know, it was the, uh, the you know the big tube, and it, and it wasn't in a TV. It was just sitting there, and I saw a uh, not a brick but a, a cinder block, and I wanted to know what was inside the tube, and I took the tube and I threw it on the cinder block, and the thing imploded, and I got covered with little slivers of glass uh, uh, on my eyeglasses, my face. Uh, they took me to the hospital, and, the, and they're using tape, and they're pulling out all the slivers of glass. Uh, <laughs> it so, was, uh, so I that, found out what was inside of it. <laughs> so that's why you look like you do. Okay, good. Glad we know Ugly. that now. Yeah, but you, you do not. Uh, they they implode. They're a vacuum tube, so uh, it's not something that you want to stand over when you throw it over a cinder block. Yeah. Now, did I did I hear that? Boy, it's slow this week. I guess it's because of the Yankees. I would imagine. Um, let me ask you this: uh, What did I hear things wrong today, or did I hear President uh, uh, Ding Dong uh, uh, President Trump. Cheeto? Um, did I hear him say that he wants an investigation into the licensing of the news oh, networks uh, yes. uh, and their lic their broadcast licenses? Because of the fake news. Yeah, because and, of the fake news. And he equated news. them with CNN. Okay, at, let me, let CNN. me, let me apprise him of something. Number one, uh... The networks themselves do not possess any license from the government. Apparently, FCC? apparently he doesn't know that. No, they do not have it. NBC as a network does not have a license. CBS as a network does not have a license. And the rest of them, CNN, MSNBC, which is owned by NBC. Uh, let me see here. I, they're, they're, I know that NBC owns no radio stations anymore. Uh, uh, CBS just sold all their radio stations, okay, that were licensed by the FCC. Uh, ABC sold all their radio stations years ago, and the only thing they still own in some cities are, are a few TV stations. So, but basically, he's also arguing about uh, CNN. He's also arguing about uh, the cable networks. These are not licensed. The networks are never have been licensed by well, the FCC. Well, they're going to be now. <laughs> no, no, they won't. No, they won't because there's, there's nothing to license. They're not... Uh, uh, the, this is America. They do we can license everything. Uh, you, they don't... They, there's no way to license the, net, the cable groups because their form of transmission does not go over the air and is not really regulated by the FCC. We'll figure something out. But no, wait, he's stupid. <laughs> I mean, I thought, uh, I thought, Alex, that most of your TV stations were regulated by the FCC. Yet that I said station. the TV stations, but the networks themselves Didn't are not net licensed by the FCC. Okay. Didn't Sarah Huckabee Sanders have some issue uh, yesterday uh, with she the has way some issue uh, with her the face? Question. Yeah, well, so the question. So, so kick your ass. <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, a reporter asked her a question, kept asking the same thing, and when she gave the answer, which was a Trump interpretation of uh, the statement, uh, uh, it, it just it got to the point where uh, they were uh, agreeing to disagree. Uh, well, I, she, she said something like, she said... Uh, Oh, that was just a joke, and maybe you should get a sense of humor and try it sometime. No, 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 no. Not this that one? Yeah, yeah no. that, that it was meant as a joke. And, and what yeah. it was, they were referring to the the pissing match uh, with that Trump has he, with, yeah. uh, with uh, what's his name, the uh, Tillerson. 
Although Tillerson uh, no, isn't happy. No. Uh, no, it had to do with Tillerson, he, with, Tillerson with him talking about an IQ test for he and Tillerson. That's uh, what it was about. No, yes. Uh, it, not this one. This one was uh, uh, something that he said, and uh, it was like a half true statement, uh, and she clarified it. Uh, to make it a true statement. Well, listen, we didn't, we didn't, uh, when we elected the president, expect him to be the Toastmaster General and be the joke teller. You know, I mean, this yeah. is not you. You you, be, you have to be very careful about telling jokes when you're president because some people might not take them as jokes. And I'll tell you, because Donald Trump is not very good at it. Yeah, uh, it, none well, of it you know, sounds if like you're a joke. For anything. To, to skewer yeah. the guy, then anything he says that might be a joke, you're not going to interpret it that way. You're just going to say, aha, got him. You know, yeah. that's one more gotcha. And by the way, the telephone you see on the screen right now uh, is, uh, uh, boy, I'm, I'm losing Three, it again. 352-0079. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, the telephone is, is uh, uh, our, our good friend, um, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Tim. Yeah, 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 operative. Tim. Yeah. So you, you know what? All this, all this you're talking about was a distraction from the fact that when when he was in a meeting with generals, he said he wanted to increase the nuclear arsenal mm -hmm. ten times. Is that what it was? Uh, yeah. Now what? Now what? And, and, and you know he's after NBC because he hates. Yeah. He has a feud with NBC. He's got a feud yep. with Corker. He's got a feud with uh, the NFL. Now, he won the he's one. saying yeah. the NBC story's wrong because nobody took any action to increase the arsenal. Well, and the report didn't say he asked his generals to increase the arsenal. He just said he would like to increase the arsenal at some time, but never directed anybody to do anything. They, they had to sit down and literally give him lessons about foreign affairs, about how the military works, any time he's got to make a decision. He's like a, a savant, or uh, he is not in control of his faculties. Well, he, he also had to be, what was it today, somebody told him about the 25th Amendment and how the cabinet could take care of him and he didn't have to worry about impeachment. He said, what's that? He, uh, I really think it's either he's, or the, he, he's been this way for years, but I think it's slowly. What happens when a person born with dementia gets old and gets dementia. What is that called? I don't know it's what It's called that is. dementia. <laughs> double, oh, double dose. Double dose. <laughs> From the parenthood. No, but, you know, I mean, uh, did you hear what I was saying about the broadcast licenses? An update. We're going to lose Rob Alfano for another series. The Yankees just won 3-2. to two. Huh. No. Oh, no, it's yeah, three, two outs. I'm sorry, it's two outs. It's two outs? Okay, so, yeah. so yeah. it looks like they're going to win. I agree with you, Alex, uh, on everything. I, I, that, I, I, I caught that immediately. So, I'm, I, you know, uh, I just posted something on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, what the, else is new? The Trump-Tillerson <laughs> feud is now, the, the results of the Trump-Tillerson feud IQ test are in, and Trump is number one. I mean, literally, his IQ is one. <laughs> uh uh you know i mean that that well that whole that whole bitch session that was going on was just i mean it was embarrassing it was just embarrassing you know who you know who was worse than than corker coming out against him his hmm. his good rich friend thomas barrick came out against him and said trump is better than this he even bad mouthing today yeah. His good best friend has a no, not a vested interest in anything. I, I, you know, I've seen a hey, lot. I've seen a lot of interviews with people who know him uh, and know Trump. You know somebody and, that and, went out with him? No, 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 knows right. tr knows Trump. You know, from New York and so on, and have said right. they didn't expect him to be this way as president. That he, it's very unlike uh, who bad. he was. You know. I'm a so I'll post a link to that Thomas Berry story on Facebook. But no, don't do that. You clutter up my page with all that stuff. <laughs> oh, hey, that's what it's for, Alex. No, it isn't. Robert Reich gets 1,500 comments when he's on live stream. Yeah, well, I didn't let him get the comments. What's on his page? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, but Thomas Berry is a friend. Yeah. That made those comments. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, it's, it's you know, I just find that... Uh, 
uh, you know, when he when he says he wants to do away with the let's say he could do away with the licenses of the networks. Let's just say that, and all the, all the news people. Let's say he could do it. Would you want to see him do that? I mean, come Dude. on, this no, is but, but, this no. is this is America. But it, what he should be doing is going after Facebook, Google, and Twitter for doing that embed stuff and helping out. Helping the Russians. Take I don't think. Look, I t- Tim, Tim, in all oh, deference to you, I don't think that Facebook even knew what was going on. It's not like nope. there was they were conspiring they, with the no, Russians. Facebook knows what's going on. They they have they they no, monitor b- everything. Bullshit, bullshit, they Tim, Tim, everything. Tim. I don't no. think they knew this okay. was going oh, on. Okay, I'll, I'll agree wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, Tim, Tim. Uh, 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 Patrick is like nodding his head no. Explain what you're thinking is. It's conspiracy nutballness. I mean, this is is like Alex Jones territory. Yeah, Yeah, you're getting into Alex Jones territory, too. Can I make make an observation? Well, no, no, not yet. Let let Patrick finish what he's saying. Oh, go ahead. Tim, I gotta tell you, a lot of times, even though I disagree with you, I find it very interesting, um, you know, like theories and that. But sometimes, like, this is like Alex Jones. And I hate to say that to you, because I have a lot of respect for you and, and what you bring to this, this show, but damn, that, that's way out there, dude. <laughs> well, I'll make two real quick comments. First, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to some experts that know what, what Facebook does, but all the people that I know that supported Trump we're sending me Facebook stuff all the time. But number two, I compare to say that uh, Facebook didn't know about what the Russian people buying ads were doing is like saying the people in the movie industry didn't know about wine. No, I no, they I, know. I, I, they know I disagree on. with they you because funny. what happens is Facebook, everybody has access to Facebook. And all Russians had to do was join Facebook and, and make a fake account and, and make fake accounts and then tons of fake accounts and then start sp- spreading material on there and yes now when it's been brought to their attention facebook could go back check it out and say hey we do think this is what's been going on yes patrick first and then then uh, phil i mean it's it, it, it's like if i'm if i'm researching something on amazon or or, or on google you know that 20 minutes later on Facebook, there's going to be an ad about that. So it, it's oh, no, no, I know. I understand that. I understand that. But these, I'm talking about the targeting. The fact they had embedded Facebook people working with the Republican National Committee. In the I don't know. Oh, that was that bullshit about uh, that they went over to Russia and then there was $30 million or something. Uh, uh, the only thing I wanted to clarify was uh, my short-term memory has been shit lately. But uh, <clears throat> the thing that I was talking about was uh, um, Sanders was defending Trump's repeated tax rate uh, thing, where he said Amer- uh, America's paying oh, the yes. highest tax rate in the world. That, and that so, isn't the reason she was telling people to lighten up. I remember her that no. saying that, and it wasn't in reference to that. No, no, I let me, this is a different thing. So what happened was the reporter says, well, Trump is lying, and he's saying that, uh, you know, we pay the highest tax rate. And she says, well, it's the corporate tax rate. And so he says, no, but that's not what he said. And so she says, no, it was the corporate tax rate. And back and forth, back and forth, she kept repeating herself. He kept saying that he's not telling the truth. And uh, finally, they agreed to disagree. But when I was saying that uh, people look to, for any, uh, if you try to be funny as, as, as Trump, uh, they're always looking for something to, 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 rip, uh, uh, to rip his gut out with. And, for instance, on this one... They, we don't you know, have to go very said, far. We don't have to go very far. He, he hands it to us on a silver platter. He you know, constantly steps on his own dick. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Phil, <laughs> hey, Phil what, what Trump was saying about the corporate rate, the actual tax rates are high, but what the corporations actually pay on average, which is the effective tax rate, yeah. is closer okay. to 15 okay. to 20%, let, let, yeah. and it's not the highest. Let me admonish uh, Kevin for let me admonish Kevin for a second. Uh, I, I think you're you're making a very horrible assumption when you think that Trump could trip over his own dick. 
My bad. Because if it's the size of his fingers, I don't think he has to worry about that. Well. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. Uh, we're, uh, this is that's a good topic legs. for discussion. <laughs> well, anyway. By the way, you know you know the term I really hate above yeah. any any and all things that people say that we can agree to disagree. Uh, Bullshit. You don't agree fight. to disagree. You Christ disagree. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, I guess uh, she was trying to keep some decorum. I don't the, agree to uh, disagree. I'm right. You're wrong. That's it. Yeah. There's no <laughs> green to disagree. Well, 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 Trump should start acting yeah. like a talk show host then. <laughs> that's, the, oh, that's the way they do well, it. Well, he's trying to be a, a, a reality show host. He thinks he's running a reality show. He's running this government like it's a reality show. Well, we're going to have Dancing with the Stars soon, you know, uh, in government. They'll have to dance. If they can't dance, they can't get their laws through. That means you're fired. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> but this whole idea that you're even, even, even threatening the press with something like that is, is just, yeah, and, it's, and it's disgusting. And the fact that he humiliates Tillerson. Hey, if it's the press bad. is putting out false stories, and he says that they're making up stories... If they're putting out they're false, not. they're quoting well, they're him. They're the quoting. Thing they're, they're, is fake they're, news. They're, oh, tell me a fake story. Tell me a uh, fake the story. On things, Fra uh, 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 Trump said that uh, that it was never said. Yes, and, 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 and it was and, and, never said because the term that was used was "fucking moron." <laughs> All right. Well, re regardless of uh, whatever expletive you add to it, uh, the idea is Trump. Trump says that it never happened, and uh, well, Tillerson never uh, confirmed that that's what no, he but said. But he didn't, he didn't deny it, it, it either. Happened, he he didn't. would have outright denied it, Phil. You he know what happened, because you can tell it in Trump in Tillerson's eyes. Well, you can you tell. Know, even if you deny it, then they still come after you. He wasn't acknowledging. You can't deny it because it's, it's probably recorded. Well, if it was It'll recorded. It'll come out someday like the Nixon tape. tape. Tim, if they was recorded, why aren't they playing it? It was it was leaked to to somebody, or they made it up. And if, if, I'm just saying that the people that reported Phil, are, have Phil, multiple sources Phil, that are reliable. You know, yeah. you've got guys like uh, what's his name, Alex Jones. You're not going to say that isn't fake news. Absolutely, but he doesn't pretend all right, that it is. All right, all right, all right. No, yes, he does. Oh, it doesn't pretend. Well, well, he's an entertainer. Yes, no, 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 Phil. He does. He, he does really? this well, like it's the truth. Maybe oh, he yeah. starts believing his own shit. But that's remember when he had this deal with his kid, and there was something uh, to do with custody, and he said that all I am because is he was trying not to pay. For alimony or custody get custody well, of the kid so he was using that as an excuse that i'm only a performer we well, we that's we said. where would he come up with that shit if that wasn't true well then why doesn't he say to his audience don't believe anything i say it's all for entertainment purposes why does he well, say that to his audience true. on his show he he's talking to don't the defend of, don't oh, defend oh. alex jones but the fact yeah. is you know if you're going to label people who disagree with you as being fake news come on you know, that's Hitler, that's that, that's that's Hitler did film. that. Hitler did exactly right. the same thing. It's fascist to put out fake things. Yeah. The okay, did that. okay. Patrick has his hand up. Let him talk because he's sensible. <laughs> All right, with, with Alec Jones. Um, Bill, you remember you sent me the video the other day? Yeah, the gun one. Right, and I agreed with a lot of what was being said. Sometimes and, he hits it right. Wait a minute, what did I tell you? Even it's being said, it's being said by Alec Jones, and he's a fucking lunatic. Right. So I, wouldn't, I would never tell somebody, here, watch this, so you get my viewpoint. Right. Because everybody's going to look at you like you're... Like you're a nut. But, you know, the thing is, what about the Penn and Teller thing I sent you and Alex? Yeah. Uh, Do you know, where, uh, you know how old that thing is? No. Uh, maybe 20, 15, 20 years old. All right. Did he change his opinion? Oh, I have no idea, but he, he happens to be a, uh, uh, a libertarian, yeah. uh, and, and a libertarian would probably take the same, uh, the same attack on something like that. And I yeah. would disagree with Penn, and I would disagree with Teller if he could talk back to me. <laughs> And uh, I would disagree with both of them on that particular subject, and we could argue it all day long, you know. It was but but, but, the, but the show the show was a show on Showtime called Bullshit, 
and yeah. uh, they always went on and had to find something for three seasons for ten shows of every three seasons to go out against. And uh, in that particular case, it was it was gun control. Mm. Um, but it, you know, it, it uh, uh, I, I I don't know that it proved anything. It just was their opinion. Yes, Patrick. Uh, the, the only difference is there, Alex. At least you could, you and I would be able to watch Penn and Teller mm -hmm. and disagree or, or, or not with them and take them as a legitimate source versus the Alex Jones thing. Because Phil sent me both videos. They were both saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. And the only one I would ever show anybody is Penn and Teller. So. Yeah, but it, it was rarely entertaining to watch Alex Jones. He, he, got, he gets it, emotional. Yeah. I can't even when I I mean I mentioned this probably a year ago when he talked about the interbreeding of the frogs and the people and then he was crying and I, I sent the video to Alex so you could watch yeah. and I think you played it on the air uh, he, he's gone so. I think he's an entertainer, and he and he's and he's going towards the trailer crowd. He's going towards uh, you know some some pretty raw individuals, and that and need you know that they they get he wraps up their emotion, and he just he just gets he gets crazy, kind of like Hitler, you know, I, 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 you know, <laughs> and you know, Bing Bing, uh, and you know he gets the crowd all uh, razzed up. And uh, that's, and, you know, then I guess they yeah, with lies and with lies and distortions. Yeah, well, it's, it's all know, over well, the place. I don't hear I don't hear uh, Trump calling Alex Jones fake news. Well, it is uh, Alex Jones is on the Internet. So therefore, Ale how do you Alex that? Jones is on more than the Internet. I believe there are also some cable channels carrying him now. Well, it's the same thing. You just told me that if it's on a cable, uh, there is no way that they can police them for well, licenses. I'm saying that, number one, his his assertion that he wants to uh, take away their licenses, he's That's implying he that the, he said take away the network's licenses. He said, look into the network it, it, licenses. Li uh, no, look into uh, t perhaps uh, reviewing the network licenses. Right. Assuming the said. networks have licenses. Assuming the networks have licenses with the FCC, which they do not. Well, So he doesn't even to... know what he's talking about. Yes, Patrick? I mean, you know, that, that whole aspect is no different than I think everybody within the sound of my voice yeah. you know, can't stand me. There's nothing that drives me crazier than me because 90% of them are all bullshit with just a hint of real information in there. Mm -hmm. And what I would love to do away with them, but it's up to me as a as a consumer of it to oh. to, to look look it up and figure out what's right and what isn't and it's the same as viewing news on television Did i mean if you don't believe something then go and find a few more sources do you, you know, think there's a backlash now on facebook that people are starting to say hey look you know uh facebook should just be about your uh your 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 grandchildren and your travel photos and you know enough with all of this bullshit no it's it's it, it's a electronic hide park is what it is if you know what know what I'm talking yeah, about, yeah, Hyde Park is a place soapbox. in England where people stand on soapboxes on Sunday and can say anything they want to. Right. Uh, and but it, the, at least there's pigeons in Hyde Park to shit on you. Well, no, there, but there's, it, it's an electronic Hyde Park, and it's a blank wall on which you can put anything you want to. And I and I think that Tim's assertion that uh, Facebook knew this was going on is absolutely uh, absurd because number one. You're dealing with uh, uh, companies that basically have a liberal bias to begin with. If, if you post a picture on Facebook that has a little bit of nipple, uh, you're, you get banned for 30 days. You mean to say that they couldn't figure out that uh, the, no. these other things? No, that because they can't tell. Out? Look, they can't tell where their people are coming from, you know. They, they, you know, and plus the fact that you can use VPN or whatever. So if they want to trace where the thing's coming from, it looks like it's coming from the United States and not coming from Russia. 
Okay. And they did uh, go ahead and uh, uh, hire a bunch a bunch more people to kind of police that kind of thing now, because I know somebody that went to work here in Mountain View for them, yeah. and they're they're watching it now, but. And, and oh, also, the also, the Russians stuff. paid in rubles, so it's pretty obvious when you're paying rubles that you're from Russia. Well, no, but you know, you're paying in American it's dollars. Rubles. They they sold they sold ad space to these people to buy ads, uh, and you know I can buy an ad on uh, Facebook. Patrick can buy an ad on oh, Facebook, ab- and uh, and quite frankly, they, they don't. Do monitor them. If if you're an anti-Hillary ad. They're, even though they may be pro Hillary, uh, they're still going to sell them the time to be equitable and to be right. So please don't go ahead and and go after Facebook, who is really a friend of your politics, uh, for for doing something that perhaps they did not see happening, and and in retrospect can go back and say, yeah, that probably was going on, and they are cooperating with the government on this. Yeah, and you got well, yeah, to. I'm really just making a prediction. Uh, and once the investigation's over, we'll find out how much. The, the question is, how much they, did they know? When did they know it? But we need to control foreign money coming in during campaign. Why, why is it so, we're seeing the? Uh, si- I could be wrong. I could. We, I could be completely why, wrong. Why, why is it we're seeing? The, why is it we're seeing the side of Mike's head? And that's it. Uh, yes, I'm doing something right now. I just got. Yeah. I yeah, got, you're, you're you're doing something. You're on the show. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but I mean, I I think that it was uh, you know terrible, uh, you know that 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 uh, that uh, the Russians did this, and I think uh, um, uh, I I don't blame Facebook at all, uh, just like I don't blame any. But I I'll tell you what I do uh, find abominable, and it's it's what I talked about last night, and that it's the liberals. Uh, who uh, are now jumping all over Harvey Weinstein after taking their money and uh, and winning their Academy Awards because of him and so on. What and if, they did what? jump over Clinton. And, you know, the, you say that uh, a couple of the Clinton ones were willing. But what about Kat <laughs> Willie? She wasn't willing. Uh, well, you know. What are you talking about? Well, she was the one that alleged rape against Clinton. Oh, jeez. Are we going she, back to that? Well, hey, look, Catherine the, Willie, to begin with, was of all the all those women, one of the ones that I think was proved to be wrong and lying. Uh, well, I don't know about that. Yeah, well, uh, and uh, you don't know about a lot of things. She was the one that said, look, uh, look, you're uh, you're changing the subject. No, because, no, you're changing the subject. All right, so if you just want to, you're go down the changing path of the subject, Phil. I'm talking about the fact that these. Uh, hey, hey, Phil. Put your talking points away. That liberals Trying didn't to put the stand talking up. points away. Yeah, but the liberals didn't stand up against uh, uh, against Clinton, but they're standing up against uh, Weinstein and uh, and they went and it's they went Weinstein. after Trump. It's Weinstein. Uh, Weinstein. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, but what I'm, say, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is is the is the Love. the the uh, liberals who are like for instance uh, Schumer. I'm sending back my money. I'm giving my money away to charity or whatever that he gave me. What? How does that take away the sin that you took money from Harvey Weinstein? And what was wrong with taking money from Harvey Weinstein? This wasn't money that was done on the backs of women. You know, he didn't send out prostitutes to raise funds for your campaign or anything like that. I thought them all saying, well, we're sending the money back. It's one of the most hypocritical pieces of shit I've ever seen. And it's a well, typical... if he did do that, I would be more inclined to vote for him. And it's typically, it's typically the kind of, the reason why I don't like like liberals, okay? Yeah, it's because Hillary they do precisely that kind million. of thing. What? Uh, did he raised a couple million for Hillary. Uh, did she send it back, or you know, she did not? No, them. she is not sending hers back. Uh, she has said she's sending hers back. She, she's not running for office anymore. <laughs> yeah, she probably spent it already. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, she bought that check. There, by the way, there's a rumor running around that Hillary and, and Bill haven't talked to each other for like two months. I'm not surprised. I'm surprised they aren't already been over ten years. What what'd you say, Patrick? I wouldn't want to fucking talk to her either. <laughs> Neither would I. Let her go walk her dog. Bill, for that matter. You know, uh, I feel sorry for anybody. But I mean, like I, I, for instance, it, it was like it was like uh, uh, Meryl Streep. 
You know, Meryl Streep and Judy Dench, another one that came out against him, these were women who owe their Oscars to Harvey Weinstein, not because he put him in the movie, but because when it was time for the Academy to vote for those movies, he was buying ads and he knew how to campaign for an Oscar. And they got an Oscar because Harvey Weinstein really bought did, that did, Oscar. Did Harvey okay. send you anything? Wait a minute. No, no. But let me finish with what I'm saying, Phil, please. Oh. And I find it hypocritical of Meryl Streep to suddenly be so shocked. I mean, when everybody in Hollywood knew what this guy was doing. It, it, you know, as I was saying last okay. night, my friend Shecky, who is, doesn't even live in Hollywood, who only worked for the Letterman show, he said, we knew about it. You know, it was it a known out, fact that Harvey Weinstein was this horn dog. It came out, the story came out in 2004, and the New York Times buried it. And then... Uh, and why did they in, bury it? Tell why they say they buried it. They said it wasn't newsworthy. No, I think they said also they couldn't get enough information to back it up. Well, I guess he... But uh, who, who broken, wait a minute, who in 2017 broke the story? Variety. No. no not Variety. Uh, oh, Matt Dillon. Uh, no. Ronan Farrell. No. no, it was the New York Times. Uh, it's the I New thought... York. The New York Times last uh, a week ago, week and a half ago, put out this story, and this is what got it rolling. So don't blame the New York. York what? Or no. It wasn't a no. Magazine no, it like wasn't. The... No. 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 Right. It certainly but, wouldn't be Variety. They wouldn't want to piss off Weinstein, who probably buys ads in their magazine. No, it wasn't Variety. It wasn't. There's another one that's Vanity, Fair, Vanity Fair, was it? No. It's no, not Van, Variety. No, it's it, it, it was the New it. York Times, Phil. Yeah, the Roman. What the hell is his name? Uh, Roman. Roman. Uh, yes, Ro, Rowan. Uh, Rowan. Uh, Rowan. Uh, yeah. Farrow. Rowan Farrow. Yeah. Yeah. Mia Farrow's kid? Yep. Yeah. I thought he... Yeah, but uh, NBC wouldn't do it. NBC wouldn't take it. He went to NBC first. They turned him down. Yeah. But, it, it, but, but So they took the story. So eventually the New York Times was the, were the people that let this story be known. But this was going on. This had been go was, you know, for Meryl Streep to say she didn't know this was going on, when, then she was the only one in Hollywood who didn't know this was going on. That just proves why he got away uh, as with it. As I said so last long. night, he had a lot her of saying, her he saying, had a lot of her power. saying that she didn't know this was going on, and she's absolutely aghast that this kind of behavior was going on, is maybe her best acting performance. And I think she, she should win an Oscar. Back? She could win an Oscar for it next year. Except Harvey won't be there to buy it for her. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Patrick. Only one that I believe. Because wait a minute, who's, uh, made, wait a minute, wait a minute, who's making all that noise? Because it's it's cutting down. Hold on, on. that yeah. might be me. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead, Patrick. Okay, the only one I believe that are actually shocked and angered by this are the Obamas because their daughter, I think it was Malia, actually interned with him. Yep. And yes, no and way to tell that um, the Obamas, if they had any knowledge of this, would send their daughter into basically a slaughterhouse, um, you know, where he would be trying to take advantage of them, or possibly. Well, I, also, I don't think Harvey, we I think Harvey right. Weinstein was f smart enough with his dick to know to stay away from the president's daughter. Yeah, you know? she rage? <laughs> No, that, I mean, that's a, that's a good point, Alec, but uh, as far as, as it goes with sending your daughter for an internship, I, I really think even though you're right, nobody would fuck with the president, I don't think that they would have had her go there. Well, I, nope. I, you see, I, I think this was a known situation among Hollywood people. I don't think it was necessarily yeah. a known thing in Congress or among with the president right. or whatever. To, to the president, uh, Harvey sir, Weinstein was a guy who who gave a lot of money to a lot of liberal causes and was a good liberal. Okay, wouldn't the Secret Service be on this and 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 be protecting the president's daughter yeah, while you, she you, was you're uh, Monday morning quarterbacking this, Phil? 
Well, yeah, well, it's, uh, it would make sense. And, and wouldn't they do uh, some, uh, you know, uh, find out some background and make sure well, that... Well, maybe they just didn't do a good job this time. Yes, Patrick. Um, the only reason I brought up Obama as political is with Hillary because of the money that she got. She damn well knew that what he was doing. I, I doubt that that would be a shock for her because of all of her connection to Hollywood versus the Obamas. I don't think the Obamas had, at, even when they were, were running, half the connection that the Clintons did throughout Hollywood. So she would know but the Obamas would not. Do you and think Hillary so, took a shower with To your point, Phil, with this uh, background check with Secret Service, yeah. you know, if it's not something that was on the radar in Washington, it's not something that they would be really looking into. But there were articles in 2004 that, uh, that surfaced uh, that uh, said that this was the situation. Yeah, but that's 20 years ago. Yeah, and uh, I mean, how many years ago was uh, she interning? Well, I, I, you know, you're making a big deal out of something you shouldn't make a big deal out of. I mean, uh, obviously, I, in fact, did she, how, what did, how long did she intern for Weinstein? I, I, I don't know how long it was, but like I said, I, I, I think the Obama reaction is legitimate versus... 99% everybody else that's coming out, like you said, with Meryl Streep or yeah. Kelly or anybody else. So but You know, Trump made a comment about it, too. What did he say? He said, well, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, they all have handlers, uh, yeah, whether it's Meryl Streep or, or somebody else, and their handlers probably said, you know, this is the statement you should make. And by the way, by the way, you know, a lot of people are building this up as though Harvey Weinstein was such a biggie in Hollywood that he had a pass on stuff. And the yep. fact is that the fear of Harvey Weinstein has not been in existence in recent years because he's been kind of a failure. You know, he doesn't have the same power he once had when he had Miramax. He and his brother started it, named after his father and his mother. Um, they sold that off, I think, to Disney, and they started their own Weinstein company, and that has not been as successful. Uh, and um, uh, it, there are stories and rumors running around that the reason the story got published was because it was leaked by Harvey's brother. They're Bob. saying that's not true. Well, who's saying that's not true? Uh, I just I heard it on the news. Well, you heard uh, it somewhere. Yeah, I well, well, I heard it also <laughs> from reliable sources that it was Bob, that there was a Cain and Abel situation there, and they had a falling out, and he just decided he wanted to run the company, you know. And who's running the company right now? Bob. Well, not only are they going to change the name of the company, was, uh, so four so what? So what? Board. Bob is still going to run it. Yeah, well, four members of the board. Bob is uh, still going to run it. I don't care about four members of the board. Bob is still going to run it. Huh. Well, you know? Uh, you know, what I asked you before was, as a, as a member of the voting uh, 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 thing for the Oscars, uh, you know, and you, and you have a vote, I don't, uh, did I don't, you receive I don't, any promotional I don't, material? I don't have a vote for the Oscars. I'm not a member of the Academy. Oh. Oh, that's uh, what are you a member of? SAG. SAG, and that those are not the people that uh, vote for the uh, uh, for no, for we, which movie is going to win. We, we vote for the Screen Actors Guild Awards. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the Oscars. Oh, okay. So it's not the same thing. No. All right. I never watch them, so I don't know. Because uh, I, I I only get the movies that are uh, are nominated for acting performances. If I were getting, with the Oscars, I'd be getting eight times the amount of movies every year when it was okay, nomination well, isn't it, time. Isn't it time that you, uh, that you get those? Uh, no, we won't be getting them until uh, probably, uh, I would say, mid-December. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, you, you have, like, what, 30 days to vote? 
Uh, it's, yeah, something like that, 30, 45 days, something like that. I don't know. About the beginning of, uh, of December, we start seeing the screeners, you know. And they're not really the same kind of screeners they used to be. We get very few DVDs. Uh, they, they, most of them come through uh, iTunes uh, or uh, they, they come through. There is a site where you could actually watch them. And uh, I just hooked my, my tablet up to my screen using Apple TV and watch them that way and see them on the big screen. Uh, now, can you unload them? Huh? Can you download them? Uh, uh, the iTunes stuff. It, it, you, I still have the iTunes stuff. You know, yeah. Uh, you know, but uh, the other stuff, no, you can't download. But you can watch it on the Internet uh, nice. using various sources. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, my iTunes, yeah, my iTunes machine, the newer one, uh, has a, a actual app that you can watch these uh, screeners on the, from this one company that does it it's a it's a whole process but we get to watch them you know and half the time they're movies we've already seen because girlfriend wants to go to all the she she movies and then she forgets that if she just waited a couple of weeks we get them for nothing you know so. yeah a, a lot of times you know i've noticed that the movies that win uh weren't very popular uh, you know, they, um, oh, did I freeze up? No. Uh, you know, they, they're not necessarily popular. Um, well, you know, well the, the, the popularity not has nothing to do with quality. Has yeah. nothing to do with great performances. Has nothing to do with great direction. Uh, usually it's the smaller films lately that are winning for the quality that an Oscar engenders. But, you know, I don't think Marvel's latest Avengers movie is going to get nominated for an Academy Award. Yeah. Now, so when you vote, do you vote on the movie or, or some of the things in the movie? No, we don't. I don't vote for any of those things. It is the oh. Screen Actors Guild. So what would that, that what, what, what would those awards be? Right. For acting well, performances. I see. So, uh so what, what actual vote do you cast? I cast a vote in any one of a number of categories for both radio, for television and movies. Yeah. Uh, for, you know, a best ensemble cast, best actress, best actor, best supporting actor, best supporting actress, uh, both in television and whatever, you know. Um, so, you so know. this uh, is not an Oscar? Uh, no, uh, I, I've told you again, it's uh, not the Oscars. The Oscars is the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, of which uh, there are about maybe 2,500 to 5,000 members. I can't remember how many. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, But the, the phony fuck awards are the Golden Globes. Do you know how, know how many people vote on that? No. <laughs> Ninety one. Really? Yes. So that's and they're inside. all they're all they're all uh, 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 reporters from other countries who are living in this country, working at waiters at restaurants. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and 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 then they hold this big thing, and everybody goes, "Oh, it's the Golden Globes! Oh, we can hardly wait for the." It's a bunch of assholes who have hardly any credentials at all, who are one of 91 people who belong to the uh, uh, Hollywood Foreign Press Association. There it is for you. And, no, it, and, and it, it, has, it should things. have absolutely no weight in any case, shape, or form, you know? Tim, are the Russians skewing our movies because it's the foreign press? I have no idea, unless you're going to go eat at some Russian restaurant, some tea room somewhere. You know, yeah. The, the guy is you know voting for his stuff while he's waiting they on your table. They all stole it their table. Oh, no, it, it, that, that's the biggest lie in Hollywood is what the Golden Globes are. At least, you know, the, the Oscars uh, are the industry voting for their own. You yeah. Know? Uh, yeah, and and you might you might look if you want to see some other interesting ones, the Critic Circle Awards, like out of New York City, the Critics Awards, uh, because you know there there are critics who are are have seen all this stuff and have decided this is the best. But you know, um, last year, tell me here here's a good one for you. 
I always say that the Academy Awards are important, right? They're a big deal, right? Okay. I want somebody to tell me here. Who won for Best Picture last year? I have no idea. How about you, Keith? Hey, Kevin. How about you, Mike? No idea. I don't pay attention. Brian, any idea who won for Best Picture? He's shaking his head no. No? How about you, Patrick? No? How about any of you watching me right now? Oh, well, if I if I ask no, you to go sure. online and to write it in. I, pro- I don't even know what pictures were nominated last year or yeah. this year yeah. or any uh, year. Uh, uh, let, me, uh, I, I, let, me, let me tell you. Let me tell you. All a bunch of political horse shit as far as I'm concerned. You, I don't watch any of them. I, I know, I know, I know, because you're Mr. Blah, blah. You're, you're, want, you're, you're if, Uncle Grumpy. Wanna, you're Uncle Grumpy, and we we like your grumpiness, Uncle Grumpy. Well, if I want if I want good reviews on what constitutes a good movie with good acting and whatnot, there are two sources I I, I lean to heavily. One is Amazon.com, and the other is IMDb. Yeah, but IMDb doesn't review movies. If well, the, 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 the people who participate. No, write no, I and no, they don't write. They really don't write <laughs> reviews on movies. Uh, uh, IMDb is a data source for who was in what film when, and Amazon. Uh, I've never seen them review, review films. You know, if you not Amazon, but I'm talking about people. Peer I reviews. mean, Rotten Tomatoes is probably if you want to talk about reviews and and. Rotten Tomatoes last week gave Blade Runner a 90%, and I'm saying I went to see it based on that review, and it is maybe the worst movie of the year. Yeah, they got trashed late, oh. recently, too. The last couple of days, I think somebody was trashing the Rotten Tomatoes system, I guess. I don't know what well, it was Well, all I know is that we've gone to a lot of movies that were like in the 90s, and they sucked. They literally yeah. sucked. But anyway, no, the, the, the point, chair, of, the they, point, of, they'd have a chair. Yeah. No, but, no, wait a minute, wait, but you still, nobody came up with what, what picture no, won. No, nobody, nobody knows that. Okay, song. okay. Let me let tell, tell you what it was. Exactly, it, it was a movie called Moonlight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it won for best picture. Yeah. Who won for best actress? Don't know. Who gives a fuck? What, 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 turn I, I didn't. I didn't hear you, Patrick. I don't right. know if your mic is on. Well, who are you saying? You're on mute, Pat. You're on Dudley mute, Patrick. Oh, shit. Uh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bri- Patrick. Uh, what was your? Uh, oh. A woman. That very good. Oh, okay. yeah, Cuddly uh, Wamble uh, bitch, I think was her name. No, it was what's her name from La La Land? Well, uh, Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Um. You know, I mean, we could go on and on. I mean, if they're so important, why is it we don't remember? Because we don't, you don't give remember a sh- Casey Affleck. <laughs> yeah, two years ago there was a picture that won. Uh, what was the one about the newspaper? Uh, uh, terrible, terrible picture. You know, the gas at the sports section. Maybe is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, right. Yes, Did Patrick. Affleck just apologize for groping, Patrick. The only one that I remember distinctly is. Platoon, and now it's 1986. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, I'm being very honest, now, like, because when you brought it up, I was trying to backtrack in my head what the last picture I remember winning for best picture, and Platoon is the only one that I can think of, and that was in 1986. And I was doing the same thing, and I couldn't. Dump. Forrest Gump was. Uh, maybe 1990. I don't think that won an Academy Award, but I'll tell you something. I'll tell you, here, here is a good, good little. Morris tri- Thompson was in '95 or '96. Yeah, but here, 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 here's the goofiness about about these awards. If you said what was the best film of the '80s when they polled all the critics and you know so on, I believe it was the '80s. Yeah. Um, uh, Oh, maybe it was maybe it was the seventies. I can't remember what year it came out. But anyway, Saturday Night Live. <laughs> uh, they 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 all came out. All the critics said the best film was Raging Bull. Well, that was good. Uh, okay. It was in the early eighties, eighty one, eighty two. That was a good movie. It, 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 was, it, it, it I think it came out in in, in the late seventies. And think. the guy just died that they made that Jake LaMotta. Oh wait a minute, maybe it was the eighties. Anyway, whatever. Somebody will look it up. Early, early 80s. Early uh, 80s. Yeah, now, wait a minute. Hold on a second. 
at the end of the 80s, they took polls of, of reviewers and said, what was the best picture of the 80s, okay? And number one on every list was Raging Bull, okay? When Raging Bull was up for an Academy Award, what did it lose to? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm looking at the 80s. Uh, you oh. had Ordinary People in the 80s. Nah, Cherry, there you go. Fine. There you go. Ordinary, ordinary people, people won for Best Picture over Raging Bull. Now, uh, which picture have you? do you remember out of those you know two? What I, remember, I remember the stink after that, too, that everybody was all up in arms about that. Well, I mean... Well, the, 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 that's the only part I remember about it. <laughs> I'm guessing that with today's standards, if uh, people today, with that mentality of today, were to judge which, which movie of the 80s was the best of them, it would probably be something that had Molly Ringworm in it or uh, John Balsack. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what also gets me too is that that comedies very seldom ever win an Oscar, yeah. uh, and and comedy is harder to do than drama, and yeah. uh, I'm I'm always bothered that a lot of these pictures like uh, the Marvel pictures and so on don't get nominated because some of them are very well done. I mean, if you're going to say what was the best picture of the year. One of the things you're going to do is you're going to look at all the various aspects, the photography, the sound, the acting, everything all rolled into one. What is a superbly made motion picture? And it's not going to be me. Moonlight, you know. And there were a lot of other things done besides Moonlight that, that had, had craft involved in them. Well, I'm looking at the list of pictures that won in the 70s. Yeah. And those were pretty good. You know, Platoon, French Connection, The Godfather, The Sting, The Godfather Part Two, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Annie Hall, Rocky, Deer Hunter, Kramer vs. Kramer. It was some pretty good movies. Yeah, so, uh, so uh, I would hope they'd be good movies. They won an Oscar. But, but when you go to the 80s, but, I mean... But, okay. but, you're, but you don't have a list there of what they were up against. And in many cases, there was a better... I, I just, I just it, There was a better the film news. there. You know, there was a better film that was nominated. Yes, Patrick. Yeah, it, it just seems like once we hit about 1990, you know, everything had to be the artsy crap, and um, it, and not based on all the other stuff that you're talking about with sound. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it was shit like uh, like Water for Chocolate or, or some shit that you know it's a foreign film and and it. it Set in a fucking bedroom, and that—that's brilliant. You know, I mean, nobody gives a shit. Mm -hmm. And and I think um, you've got this small artsy award like the Tribeca film and and some of the other ones that I think are more appropriate if you want to go for that art aspect. That nobody can remember what the fuck. But, it was. but you know, you know what I'm saying is like, for instance, there was a year I believe, I, I don't know. I think Star Wars was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Picture, and it, it didn't get it. Uh, I think that if you look at the body of work of somebody like Spielberg, what still remains his best picture is Raiders of the Lost Ark. It is one of the most perfect yeah. movies ever made. If I were to show somebody a textbook on how to make a great movie, I would show them Raiders of the Lost Ark. And yet, you know, I don't think it was even nominated. Yes, Mike? Yeah, you're right. Raiders of the Lost Ark was, almost takes you back to the movies, back to, what, in the 40s, almost? The, you know, no, it was an action, it was like, a pure action movie, but it was... It was perfectly executed. There is you can. Wa I've watched that film over and over again, looking for a bad note, you know, where something was. There wasn't was, any. There wasn't any. It was perfect. It was just perfect. It's like everything. It's like everything you know fell what? into into place just right. You know. You know why it was perfect? Why? I provided security in Richmond uh, for the set where they uh, had the plane. Well, that uh, no, that was in the second film. Whoopee! That was in the second film. Ah. Uh. Well, that, and that was, was and that was that wasn't it wasn't in Richmond. It was Hamilton uh, Air Force Base. No, it was a plane. It, it was still on land, 
and uh, they used this plane that was made by the U uh, Howard Hughes. Uh, that that plane uh, was being restored there, and they oh, oh, and oh, I sent oh, you oh, a picture. Oh, oh, oh yeah, they did. No, they did that. They did the. Uh, you the, read the uh, Spruce Goose. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, no, when that, that's when he was getting on the Pan Am plane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was shot yeah. over there. But in the second film, Hamilton Air Force Base was used. Uh, well, anyway, I, listen, I, I security, we, we, so I, I was well, part of that film. Yeah, everything well, comes back to you. Victoria, uh, Victoria and Abe is going to get the uh, Oscar this year. What? The movie uh, Victoria. Yeah. The one that yeah. uh, the one yeah. that uh, the lady played yeah. Lady M. Yeah, no, it won't. It, it, it won't. It won't. It won't. It won't. Well, well, watch. Well, well, you haven't seen all the films that are coming out. They're going to come out in the next couple of months, and then you'll see what the true competition is. Anyway, I want to thank Kevin. I want to thank Mark, Mike. I want to thank Tim, uh, who's still just a picture. Uh, uh, I want to thank uh, uh, Phil. I want to thank, of course. Patrick and the ever popular and always docile <laughs> Brian. And Yankees won five to two. Five Yankees to two. Won. Okay, that should make uh, Robert Rob Alfano very happy. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, will you? Okay, just wave. There we go. There they go. Okay. Anyway, uh, gotta thank you for having joined us, everybody. And thank the uh, citizens panel for participating in our little uh, our little gathering here. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night. But uh, in the meantime, uh, we have Jack and Amy next. I'm doing a few things here, as you can see. I, we have Jack and Amy next over most of this same station with the intersection at uh, one o'clock. It's connections. I will see you again tomorrow, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye.